and uh, I think your gallbladder dumps toxins during the same period. So if you're awake between 11 and 1, the toxins can back up in the liver and um, uh, secondarily back up in the entire system. So, um, you know, if you can get to bed between 9 and 11, I think is the best time. Um, but before 11 p.m., and it doesn't matter when you wake up as such, you know, from five on or whatever. Um, but it's important to kind of. Uh, there's a window too. You can, if you miss the window, say if you miss, if you don't go to bed till after midnight. Um, sometimes you're gonna find it hard to get to sleep then, you know, because you've missed your natural window, we'll say. So these are all things to uh, take into account. Establish a good bedtime routine um, and keep it consistent. So um, some people find it hard to sleep maybe on a, at the start of the week because maybe on the weekends they were up later than, than their normal consistent schedule. And um, so it's important to try and keep it uh, consistent. Um, so there are just some, uh, I guess, lifestyle recommendations. Going to the bathroom before you go to bed too could be good. Might reduce uh, the amount or if any occasion that you might have to get up and urinate in the middle of the night, which is going to disturb it, obviously. Uh, so wash the fluids as well. Uh, maybe not two hours before you go to bed. Avoid fluids. Um, herbal medicines work really good, especially for... Uh, insomnia and stuff. Okay, well what we're going to do is we have a quick break to take and we'll come back to those herbal medicines uh, just after uh, this break. The McSharry Foley time, it is now approaching 25 minutes past 11 o'clock. Time and Northwest Today, thanks to McSharry Foley your leading broker for car, van and house insurance. McSharry Foley, for the best cover, best price, best advice. 071 91 424 Ocean FM Recession beating directory inquiries. Baby Essentials of Enniskillen and Oma specialize in all requirements for a new baby arrival. Stocking top brands. Special promotion. Purchase a Streety Travel System Sterilizer Moses Basket and Stand for only £315. Only at Baby Essentials Enniskillen and Oma. 048 365 7 Clarion Hotel Sligo Wedding Fair. Sunday the 7th of March. €20,000 wedding fair giveaway. MC on the day. Darren Kennedy. TV presenter and stylist. And a host of wedding service providers catering for all your needs with a fashion show and beauty tips on the day. Inquiries to 071-911-9003 or email bgallagher at clarionhotelslago.com. Clarion Hotel Sligo Wedding Fair, Sunday the 7th of March. Elite Brides Canal Road Letter Kenny. Stock us of designer bridal wear, formal wear, communion wear, shoes and accessories, new and exclusive designer labels to the Northwest. Visit our website, elitebrides.ie or call 074-917719 for your free private consultation. Perfect dresses for that perfect day. I love traditional music. I mean, it's so uh, organic, yeah? It's like you guys never had a lesson and you don't have to practice. You play naturally, yeah? Listen, right. To make the right sound, you need the right people playing the right instruments and the right man in charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, I so uh, don't know what you're talking about. Follow Donal on me over eight weeks as he scours the country to find the best young musicians and turn them into a top band. Lord Glunny. 10.30 p.m. Wednesdays at TG Car. The more you watch, the more you see. TG Car. Sulella. King and Moffat Euronics. Red Hot Valentine Specials. Siemens 7 Kilo 1400 Spin Washer was €499. Euro. Now only €459. Euro. King and Moffat Euronics. Boy Road, Carrick on Shannon. 0719622847. Do you need blinds? Then call Smart. Smart Blinds Donegal, because at Smart Blinds, you can get 30% off. Yes, 30% off roller and vertical blinds. Call Smart Blinds for your home visit free quotation. Smart Blinds, cover the county of Donegal, 074-916-8737. To have your say, call the Northwest Today comment line on 0818-365-500. Text your comment to 083-3500-530. And you're very welcome back to Northwest. Northwest today we are in the company of Gabriel McSharry, medical herbalist and nutritionist and we're talking about getting you to sleep now um, some herbal medicines to help yeah so there's natural sedatives um, some really good ones are St. John's wort, uh, valerian uh, hops lemon balm um, and they're internal herbs, internal medicines and they can work really really well 
I have a, uh, a few more at the dispensary, and I generally blend them. So I might I find um, um, a formula I make up, a capsule I make up with a mixture of St. John's Wort, Valerian, and hops. Uh, works extremely well uh, for a lot of people, and. Um, it uh, depends really on 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 the person, but y- you can sometimes capsules are better than um, alcohol tinctures um, for sleep because um, one thing I didn't mention is alcohol. Uh, there's certain stimulants that should be avoided um, after 6 p.m. probably, and that's um, alcohol um, and caffeine and caffeinated beverages. So uh, a lot of tea. Um, and sometimes dark chocolate and stuff and, and coke and stuff like that they all contain caffeine and these energy drinks too, watch them um, so some people uh, feel alcohol uh, it helps them sleep, you know, makes them drowsy but in fact um, well, if you pass out from excess alcohol you get a false sleep um, it's been noted so even though you're out of it you're actually exhausted the next day from because you don't really get to that quality sleep as I mentioned mm-hmm. earlier um, and um, it's shown too for sleeping uh, tablets pharmaceuticals it's the same um, you may not get to that uh, deep level of sleep so is that kind of a false sleep then? yeah so you're actually uh, knocking yourself out yet you're not getting that quality sleep so you're running up a sleep debt and uh, you know down the track as I say, you won't get that repair in your muscles or your digestive tract and so on. And, and, you know, you might get aches and pains in your musculature and so on. Um, and really what you need to do is just get good quality sleep. Mm-hmm. So and it takes time too, actually. I mentioned it's it's not something that if you did all these recommendations and took some herbs that straight away you're like going to get knocked out, you know. Mm. It's just not that acute. And mm. it takes a bit of time. You need to generally change your environment and your lifestyle and diet and, and stuff. And, um, you know, obviously exercise during the day is really beneficial for good quality sleep because if you're getting out, getting fresh air, getting moving, getting exercise, you're going to have better quality sleep. Mm-hmm. Um, what about this, you know, some people say you need to get eight hours sleep. And some people say, oh, sure, after five hours, I'm great. Yeah, I think it's horses for courses here in that uh, some people um, can go on five hours and uh, they're fine. Uh, But generally, it'll be a consistent five hours. Um, And then some people need eight hours. Um, So I I say generally between uh, five and eight hours depending on, on on the type of person you are. If you have no health problems and you have enough energy to do the things that you do during the day and so on, um, and you sleep five hours and you feel good, well, then that's fine. Uh, that's uh, po- probably what you need. Uh, but some people need up to eight. So I don't think there can be one um, gold standard of, say, everyone needs eight hours and so on. Everyone's different. But definitely below five and probably over nine hours is either too little or too much. You know, you can oversleep as well. Yeah, and yeah. um should be something that looks into it. if you, if you sleep too long, you really need to get that looked at, you know. Okay. Now some of the questions that are coming into us. Uh what is good for burning in the feet, severe burning in the soles of the feet? And uh anything that you could suggest for someone who has cold feet? Yeah, well for the cold feet, um maybe try wearing the socks or getting a um um a hot water bottle down there well that's at night generally but if you've cold hands and feet generally you've poor circulation um, again at the clinic I use circulatory stimulant herbs um, heat up the body um, uh, increase blood flow to the extremities um, also um, uh, it, it may uh, indicate poor cardiovascular function um, if you have poor circulation um, so if you have cold <coughs> feet and you also have say a lot of varicose veins and stuff like that then you probably have poor in- integrity of the, the, the veins and the arteries and that affects circulation um, and that's something you know I, I treat with herbs and diet and stuff but it's, it's something you need to um, look at a, as a more holistic um, approach mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, hi, Mags. Can you ask Gabriel about my mum? She's 83 and suffers 
um, gout. Yeah, she has gout. Uh, she wakes up a few times at night and has to stand out on the bathroom tile floor for a relief. Oh. That's not very good, is it? No. So, well, I suppose if she just stand out in the tiles, it's obviously it cools them down and she gets relief there. It's like gout can be um, generally affects uh, the big toes. Uh, can affect uh, the hands and all the other oh, toes. Is that a swelling, is it, or what is yeah, it? Yeah, there's an inflammation, a red hot inflammation, right. extremely painful. And it's probably why she stands on the tiles is to ki- kind of cool it down. You know, inflammation in general is, is it brings heat to the area, and uh, there's there's a swelling and it's very red. But um, uh, a number of people have uh, reported to me where where their gout at night can flare up, even if the even if you have a sheet, if your foot is under a sheet, just the weight of the sheet <laughs> could uh, be ext- extremely painful. Really. Okay. Um, in general, it uh, as I said, the big toe uh, t- seems to affect a lot. Of gout, again, something that needs to be uh, a good work over in, in the clinic. Um, diet, lifestyle, nutri- uh, and, and herbs, um, all together, uh, kind of a three-pronged approach can have uh, quite a beneficial effect on gout. It's a form of arthritis. It's um, it's where the body dumps uric acid generally um, uh, into the joints as opposed to passing it in the urine. So, uh, you know, and for a long time it was seen as um, the, 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 the fixes to reduce uh, foods that make you produce urea or uric acid. Um, but uh, not just too much effect, uh, not very effective. Um, and generally your red meats, red wine uh, and so on, they were the things. However, um, just in the last seven years, a great study published in, in, in the British Medical Journal on gout. It shows that fructose uh, seems to be the smoking gun now, in that if you have a high fructose diet, fructose is a, uh, is a fruit sugar. Um, and if you, as I said before, if you're eating the whole fruit, that's okay. But if you're eating fr- drinking fruit juices, you're getting a lot of fruit sugar. Um, more than you normally would if you had the fruit, you know. Mm-hmm. But also, uh, now your minerals, your soft drinks, instead of sugar, uh, or along with sugar, to have a thing called high fructose corn syrup. Uh, and it's very cheap to produce, to produce from corn. Uh, and um, it's, it's used now as a, a sweetener in a lot of the the jellies and the, the drinks and so on. Something you really want to look out for and avoid, um, along with sugar in general. But what it does, anyway, is high uh, intakes of fructose. It blocks your excretion of urea in, in the kidneys. So if you're going to block it and urea is a toxin, it's, the body's going to get it and dump it somewhere else just to get it out. And it generally dumps it into the, the toes or the fingers. And um, so... Cutting down on, like, as I say, it's an overall approach. Now, I have a diet I give to people with gout. It works really well, and there's some really great herbs that will increase the excretion of uric acid in the kidneys. Um, so, um, so it's down to diet, really, again, isn't it? Or yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, but it's to get the right one. Like, there's a lot of misinformation out there on gout. And, um, yeah, maybe if that woman's granny or was it her mother can, can um, Mom, yeah. uh, she can give me a ring and um, we can talk okay. about it again. Okay, and for people who want to contact you, Gabriel, just before I let you go. Yeah, 07191 429 Okay, Gabriel McSharry, medical herbalist and nutritionist. Thanks for joining us. Of course, you're back with us again uh, next uh, Wednesday morning. Now, the McSharry Foley time, it's 11.37. Time in Northwest.